the JAMA Network. Hi, I'm Dr. Xiaobing Wang, a faculty member of the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health and the School of Medicine. The China Stroke Primary Prevention Trial was designed to test the hypothesis that the combined use of inadipril and folic acid is more effective in reducing first stroke than inadipril alone among hypertensive adults in China. Our intervention targeted the major modifiable risk factor of stroke in Chinese population. Our study was a multi-community randomized, double-blind controlled trial conducted from May 2008 to August 2013 in 32 communities in China. The trial consists of three stages. Stage one was a screening and a recruitment. Stage two was a three-week run-in treatment period, and stage three was a five-year randomized treatment period. As you know, hypertension is the most important modifiable risk factor for stroke. Our study included over 20,000 hypertensive Chinese men and women without a history of stroke or myocardial infarction. In order to control for a major genetic risk factor, we performed stratified randomization based on genotype. We followed the study participants every three months to determine study drug compliance, possible endpoint events, side effect, or adverse events. The primary outcome in our study was a first stroke. The secondary outcome included first ischemic stroke, first hemorrhagic stroke, myocardial infarction, a composite of cardiovascular events consisting of cardiovascular deaths, myocardial infarction, and a stroke, and all-cause deaths. During a media treatment period of four and a half years, as compared to the inapro only group, the, that's the control group, the inapro folic acid group, the intervention group, had a significant risk reduction in first the stroke. First, ischemic stroke and the composite cardiovascular events consisting of cardiovascular deaths, myocardial infarction, and a stroke. In contrast, we didn't find any significant difference between the two treatment groups in terms of the frequency of adverse events. In particular, we found as compared to the use of inadipro alone, the combined use of inadipro and the folic acid significantly reduced the risk of first stroke by 21%. In addition, our subgroup analysis showed that the benefit from using folate to prevent the stroke are more pronounced among participants with lower baseline folate levels or uh, with MTHFR uh, TT genotype. Based on our study finding, we conclude that among hypertensive adults in China without a history of stroke or myocardial infarction, the combined use of inadipro and folic acid compared with inadipro alone can significantly further reduce the risk of first stroke. This finding is consistent with the benefit from using folate in the primary prevention of stroke among hypertensive participants with low baseline folate levels or with MTHFR TT genotype. Because the China Stroke Primary Prevention Trial focused on primary prevention of stroke in hypertensive adults, the generalizability of our study findings to secondary prevention of stroke or non-hypertensive adults still remains to be determined. Our finding may be generalizable to other populations with similar characteristics, for example, hypertension, elevated homocysteine, lower folate levels, uh, or a combination of the three as our study group, but the caution is still required. Our trial used a fixed dose of folate acid, 0.8 milligram daily. Findings from the subgroup analysis suggest 
that this dose may not be enough for participants with MTHFR TT genotype plus low baseline Foley levels. The optimal dose for this subgroup remains to be established.